What's going on guys, I'm with the Moose, and today we're back with another Diamond Dynasty video for MLB 15 The Show. This time we're going to be giving you a lineup update and, uh, you know, show you my lineup. So, this is what it looks like for the squad right now. Obviously, Carl Crawford in left, Mookie Betts in center, Shane Victorino in right, uh, Chris Davis moved over to third, I'll explain that in a second, and Jordan Simmons at shortstop, Brandon Phillips at second, David Ortiz playing first, and uh, Miguel Montero at catcher, and Doug Fister is our number one starter. So he's there right now. Now, moving over to the rotation right now. We have Doug Fister, obviously, as our number one. A.J. Griffin is going to be our number two. Um, pretty solid right there. Clay Buckles is our number three. Uh, Rick Porcello right here, another Red Sox, is our number four. And then A.J. Bernard is our number five. We might switch it around. Who knows? We might throw in Drew Smiley, to be honest. Actually, I think I'm going to do that um, and, you know, see what we can do. We're probably going to take out Burnett. I haven't had much success with him. Um, he was one of the first cards I pulled, and I just haven't really enjoyed much success with him. We'll throw Drew Smiley in there just so we have a lefty. Uh, every once in a while that might come up in our rotation but you guys if you guys know how to play or you know uh, if you've played Diamond Dynasty I should say uh, you know it pitches it picks a pitcher randomly for you so I can't really choose you know if I want Drew Smiley to pitch uh, I can just only hope that he pitches now let's take a look at the bullpen since we're on the topic of pitchers we do have JP Howell at our uh, long relief I just like JP Howell he's not really a long reliever but um, I just like him I've liked him in almost every MLB game he's been in I really enjoy pitching with him. Got a Jabba Chamberlain right here at middle relief. Rex Brothers, uh, Nick Vincent, and then our our closer and setup situation is actually pretty darn good. So we have Joaquin uh, Soria right here, uh, not too bad at all at setup man. And then a Joaquin Benoit, who's actually the closer or was the closer for the San Diego Padres. Now it's Craig Kimbrell. Not really sure what they're going to do with Benoit. Maybe they're going to make him a setup man, but he's going to be our setup man. And then we have my boy Koji Uehara. Um, you know, kind of fallen from grace recently. He's hurt to start this season. Um, but he's he was been fantastic for the Red Sox in the past, so he's going to be our closer right now. Uh, might improve that in a little bit, who knows? Uh, but for now, that's what the bullpen's looking like. I don't really need too many stud relievers. I usually can pitch pretty far with my starter, at least like six to seven innings. Um, so I don't need too many great relievers now. Moving over to the lineup, this is how it stacks up right now. Um, I've had pretty good success with this so far, I would say. Um, and I think I'm going to continue it like this. So we have Carl Crawford leading off. Obviously, he's got the speed. He's got the contact. That's why I like him at leadoff. Mookie Betts at two. Um, I think this is also a good fit. Mookie was leading off for me before I had Crawford. Um, and I think it was pretty much a natural switch to move him into the number two hole. It, was, it works out pretty well. We also have David Ortiz at number three. Obviously, this is pretty much one of the best <laughs> number three hitters you could possibly have. Um... You know, David Ortiz is my man. He's one of my favorite players in the MLB, if not my favorite player. I love him. Um, obviously, I'm a huge Red Sox fan. I do have three on my roster right now, although Shane Victorino should be getting replaced soon enough. Um, but Ortiz has to be in the third spot, and he also has to play first because that's essentially the only position he can play. Plus, there's no DH, which is obviously the natural position, if you want, if you will, for uh, David Ortiz. But hey, we got to play him at first. And then uh, Chris Davis, who I did have at first base, uh, moves into the fourth slot, and he's going to play third base. And this is because if you look at his second positions, obviously he's a first baseman, but if you look at his second positions right there on the little player card, it does say he can play third base. Now, I don't expect him to be very good at fielding at, the, at third, but hey... Um, as long as I can keep him in the lineup somewhere, his stats are just too good to keep out of the lineup. 97 power versus right-handed pitchers and even 83 versus left-handed pitchers. That's too strong to not put in the you know four slot in my lineup, the cleanup spot. Um, he should be very, very good there. Now we have Brandon Phillips playing second base, hitting fifth. I think this is going to be pretty solid. Looking forward to him. I love his batting stance, too. It's just cool. Uh, Miguel Montero's hitting sixth for us. I kind of wanted to flip them, but I, I figured I might as well put Brandon at five because he hits righty and Miguel hits lefty. I don't really want three lefties straight. That's kind of ridiculous, and somebody could definitely bring in a lefty reliever later in the game to kind of shut that order down. So Brandon Phillips is going to be in our five spot and Miguel Montero in our six. And Drelton Simmons is hitting seventh. I might switch this with Victorino. Who knows? And Simmons is not that good of a hitter. He's very good at defense. That's why his rating's so high. But uh, he's not the best hitter. You know, 61 contact versus right, 57 contact versus left, 41 power, 57 power, respectively. His vision is very good at 93, but other than that, he's not the best hitter. So um, I'm still trying to weigh my options there, but I think Victorino's getting replaced soon enough anyway. So I'll leave Simmons in the seventh slot for now and maybe move him down when I get a better right fielder. But that is the lineup. Let's see uh, what we got for the bench. We got Chris Carter coming off the bench with a lot of pop, 89 power versus right, 89 power versus left or 87 power versus left I should say fantastic power hitter and basically our our replacement first baseman if you know Ortiz or whatever is you know really struggling on defense Chris Carter could come in Deanna Navarro is our backup catcher pretty much the best backup catcher I had not really going to use him very much unless I have to put someone in 
uh, as a new catcher. Got Jonathan Villar there just because he's you know he's pretty quick and he's uh, a, a pretty much a utility man I would say. Uh, he can play a bunch of different stuff um, and. You know, I don't anticipate he's going to play very much, but hey, he could. Uh, Christian Yelich, I kind of thought about maybe playing him in right field, but who knows? Let me know if you guys would recommend me playing him in right field over Shane Victorino. I might, who knows? But uh, let me know in the comments down below. And then Pablo Sandoval, you know, like I said, I'm a Red Sox fan. I got to throw throw my Red Sox some love. So Pablo Sandoval is our backup third baseman. Um, that's pretty much because Chris Davis might struggle a lot um, defensively at third base. I'm not really sure. So in the later innings, if I want to, you know, shore up, uh, the abilities in my uh, in my infield, I'll put in Sandoval for for Chris Davis, and I actually won't lose too much on the hitting side. Just a little bit of a power, uh, a little bit of a power drop. But that will do it for the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below and let me know what you think about my lineup. And also let me know if you want me to put Christian Yelich in right field and uh, what I should do with Andrelton Simmons. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.